It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. Whack. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Let's back for another week of brilliant idiotness. Uh, Schultz is already fired up. Wax is here. Yo. Um, I can't believe they made that stupid movie, yo. What movie? What is that shit called when, when uh, women play baseball? Because the men I were thought, I thought it was actually called Field of Dreams? Play. I thought it was called Woman Play Baseball. It's called Field <laughs> What the movie called? <laughs> well, baby, I don't remember no baseball movie yeah, with women. All the men had to go oh, to the um, Tom Hanks was the coach. Yeah, Bad Hanks. News Bears. Bad News <laughs> No, what was no, it? No, 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 <laughs> What was the name what's of the, it? What's the lady? Uh, Rick, Ricky Lake was on there. Yeah, Ricky Lake, for yeah, real? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, let me see. Baseball oh movie God. with women. A league of their a own. League of, league of their, their own. own. Yeah. yeah. That's league what that was about? Own. Yeah. All the men had to go to the army. And but like, had to play baseball. yeah, we had to go fight a war, win a war. So everybody here wasn't speaking fucking German and Japanese. And then they went and played baseball. And then like, it's this fucking heroic thing. Was that based on a true story? Yeah. It was. I never heard of that ever really in my life. Though. I really like it. So there was an all-woman baseball league? Well, yeah, because the men were in trenches. Mm-hmm. Jesus Yeah. Right. We were yeah. stopping Nazis. I think it was that war. Madonna? Madonna? Madonna. Yeah. And Ricky some, Lee. somebody in fucking Hollywood looked at that time period, and they were like, what's the most heroic story to tell about this? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is an interesting story. I never even That's knew that was a league that everyone was about. All yeah. right. So maybe an episode of fucking Law and Order or something like that. Hold on. Was it Major League season. Baseball? What? Yeah, playing baseball, it was major league. Softball. I don't know if it was major. It was softball. It was, you know, yeah. probably a pickup game. It was like Puerto Ricans on the fucking 130 seconds. They did good. They was hitting home runs and stuff like that, taking steroids. They couldn't have been doing that good. If they was doing that good, then they would have still been around. Like anytime you could see something that you make money off of, if, if it was doing well ratings wise, revenue wise, wouldn't you think there'd be a woman's major league baseball league? Nah, they see how hard it really is. And they're like, nah, because no, when this. the better players came in, we want to see the best players at the end of the day, no matter how sexist we're, or racist we are, right? But like, can't you make a WMLB then? Mm-hmm. I mean, you can, but women ain't going to watch it. Man, somebody, That's there's a comedian up. out there who got the best joke about that shit. The we truth. saw that shit two weeks ago. That shit slapped. Who, Billy? Billy Burr, yeah. man. Yeah. Billy yeah. Burr. Yeah. Billy Burr got a WNBA reality show joke that makes so... Too much much sense. Protect sense. it, protect it. Protect I mean, I'm not going. I'm not going to give nobody jokes protect away, but I'm at all costs. That, I can't wait till he puts that in the special because that's one of them ones that kind of needs to be in the ecosystem because yeah. it makes you just really think about your own shit. Like, yeah, where's the unity in group operation? Where's the support? Hey, you know what I mean? Hey, now what's up? You're like what, what you pour, what you pour into grows. It's, nobody's pouring into the WNBA. Why is that? All of these women out here that are. Oh, we know why it is. Why, but I'm saying, they don't want to watch sports. You don't think so? Nah, they like, no, to, watch they like to watch sports. Women? It. Yeah, yeah, they love nah. watching sports. Nah. They do, they do. Nah. They love watching sports. But, but you know what? I bet you if it's a sport to where you can see women lose and they, they all watch it. What are you talking about? they don't like Ooh. each other. They really don't like each other. So uh. if it's like a, right now they all win and it's like, oh, I'm not going to go watch that. These girls win and they on TV. How about this? They playing WNBA. You know there's losers in the WNBA, right? I get it at the end of the day, but yeah, if but it's something that they the can get hurt. Win. Yeah, that's what I'm what saying. What if they like during the timeouts shit? you could hear them talking shit about each other's outfit? Oh, that, oh that's one. That's top one. Yeah. Yeah, but they all got yeah. the same thing on. No, it's two different teams. Social media, so but if you like, like the colors and everything yeah, else, like, oh, Ew, they got purple in their jersey. Like, like <laughs> if they did that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. And then, oh my god, her extensions are yeah, crazy. Yeah, I can see her like, hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. If, like if basketball that. was more like this on social media, that's why social. Oh, media it's is like so that though. I mean, that's why the bubble works so well. The bubble worked well because they didn't have an audience, but everybody was tweeting. Yo, everything's better with tweets. Man. Yeah, <laughs> people like the interaction. Nah, it don't matter what it is. Football games is packed. What do you mean? Like NFL, NBA games are really packed. 100%. But that's the thing with dudes. Like, as disloyal as we may be in, in like, uh, relationships or whatever like that, like, <laughs> like <laughs> our relationship with our football teams Man. and stuff like yeah, that, there is, uh, like, it's a football team, your hairstylist or barber, and the jeans you wear. Like, yeah. if I got a pair of jeans that fit, there's no reason for me to go buy another pair of jeans, right? right forever. For a long time. That's it. Like, for a long time. Yet. I don't know if y'all remember, like, when I was younger, Levi's had the game on lock, and I just, re- I had a pair of fucking Levi's, and then it was just like, I think it was 34, 34, or something like that. It was this yeah. pair of Levi's. And then All I hurt. think Levi's changed the, the shape of their jeans. European. 
maybe went more European or something. Yeah. I was like, yo, how could you, bro? Like, yeah, you fucked up. I was d never again. I wore another pair because you're at the age where you care about comfortability more than anything else. Yeah, yeah. I just want to be comfortable. Yeah. These shit right here, I know I had these shit for like three years. Yeah, Puma sweatpants. Yeah, I could order more, but these shit fit they right. Fit good. They yeah. just fit good. As long as it's not the little like balls that are on the, you know, the. Uh... Even when that happens, who cares? Nah, nah, you gotta switch it up. When ah, yeah. you're too rich, bro. You talking about gazebos and shit? You can't who have fucking fuck little balls in your money? sweatpants. <laughs> Why? Why are we worry about things like that? <laughs> what finance got to do with it? I we like need to be comfortable. Fight you, man. That's <laughs> my money, man. Because you can have all the money in the world, but it don't buy comfort. Really That's don't. By the way, most of the expensive shit ain't comfortable. Them jeans you talking about? Ugh, man, I, 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 I'll, I'll text Wally every now and then and be like, "Yo, what's the dope jeans out?" He'll be naming shit to me like. Shit, I can't even pronounce. Like, I, I can't even. Armorary? I don't fucking know. Amiri? Amiri? Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I go try them shit on. Man, I look like Taylor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's thick as fuck. Like, where I'm going with these on? Yeah, everybody got time for that shit. Put the sweatpants on. Word is born. Word is born. You know how I many pairs of pants I tried one day and nothing fit? Word Dude, born. that shit is crazy. I'll text Wale. For real. Does he ever hear you back like, why don't you ever text me when my album coming out? Nah, that's my dude. Me and Wale talk about all type of stuff. I, I fuck with Wale. And the funny part is, you know, people will send you shit mm. and you'll try it on mm. and you don't really know. Even though they don't feel right, let me see how they look. Yeah. yeah. So you ask the wife, yeah, yeah, yeah. how these look? She's like, where you going with those on? <laughs> <laughs> it all depends on where you going. Where you, going? where you going with those you on? Going in the backyard? <laughs> And then you feel like, I'm going to send these to somebody. I'm like, don't nobody wear this size. Yeah, yeah. like, wear these European size 31s, 32s. Okay. And then they try to tell you that, oh, it's just European size. That's why it's smaller. Nah, no. Them nah, shit nah, just tight. Bro. Yeah. Whole life. Like, I can't do it. I ain't that cool. I'm not cool enough to wear jackets in the summertime. Uh -huh. And I'm not cool enough to wear uh -huh. tight pants ever. Yeah. I'm, I'm not cool enough to wear not wear socks. And I see all the people with the socks and the back cut out. Oh, no. Nah, cool. What about that right that there? Cool. No, nah, that's fly. That's fly. That's fly. That's How was y'all week, though? Good, man. Shit. We had a big week. We filmed the special this past week. Yo, oh. How did that yeah. go? Oh, yeah. It was oh, great, yeah. man. It was it was a surreal experience. Do you feel like you, you nailed it? Yeah, man. I think we got something special. Again, I don't like, uh, what is it called? Counting the chickens before they hatch. Because yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. we have to go in there with the edit. That's we right. We have to really piece this thing together. And, you know, this is... You know, that's also... There's a lot of choreography that goes into that. Making it beautiful and making it different and what we've done with, with stand-up, especially like online, mm -hmm. translating those things to television. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's certain limitations that you usually have on television and then we try to do things so you don't have to limit yourselves in that. Right, right. You know, Absolutely. so it's like, so we, you know, we had a bunch of fucking cameras in there and I wanted this thing to feel like you're at uh, uh, Andrew Schultz's show, not, uh, oh, this is a special tape. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like sometimes yeah, you see yeah, a special yeah. tape and you're like, oh yeah, this feels like this is kind of choreographed. And yeah, everybody yeah, is in yeah, on it. Yeah, it's yeah. like, nah, like you, I you I, should make everybody get like them 3D glasses, even though they never work, just tell but them. They're in there anyway. <laughs> nah, <that's funny. laughs> but yeah, so it's just it's like the live energy that you feel at the shows you want to be felt while you're watching. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, I, there yeah. was moments in it, like, you know, we taped four shows, but there's moments where it's like, like I I, I want to call out what's happening. Like, I want to call out, like, that we're taping this. I'm not pretending we're not taping it. Mm. You know, sometimes yeah. you tape your show, it's like, we're pretending there's no cameras around here. No, there's cameras around here. Yeah, 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 You're yeah. still going to get the business. Absolutely. Now it's just way more people are going to see it. Yeah. So it's just like finding that balance, finding all these moments. And like and the time, right? So you're going to be on TV, mm -hmm. so they give you a certain amount of time. Yeah. So yeah. the way you would fuck around in a crowd, you can do that. You can't do that when you know you got to go in to edit the trim shit for time. Well, maybe, or or maybe there's no time. Ooh. You know what I mean? Maybe the thing is as long as it is long. Yeah. Ooh, you know pause. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. 100%. 100%. Yeah, just, just doing that. And these guys killed it, man. You know, Alex directing it. He Dope. murdered it. And Dope. Mark uh, EP in it. And Dove EP in it. And Dope. Vala shooting it. And just like having the guys out there. And it was really cool to see this vision come together. I mean, like, like I remember over two years ago, even designing the set like mark and i were just sitting down like all right what should this fucking set look like yeah. and then when you put something in fucking photoshop and then you hand it over to like a set designer and these people and then you see it in real life wow. Whoa, man. It it's, oh man it's, it's, it's wild right like it's, it's almost like, it right now you know like Amazing. you see designs of a house you're like oh this would look cool here and then in real you life see you yeah, see yeah, it yeah, yeah. 
That's what I do in my TV studio. Boom. That's what I'm like. And, the and studio's it, fire, by the way. It, but it, yeah, it took fine. a lot because all, to your, you got to get rid of that gamer chair. You're 47 my, my daughter years said old. that. My daughter was like, "Why is that a gamer chair?" I'm playing. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, "Why are you five years old?" Guy, I'm not playing a video game. game. <laughs> You're talking about like important <laughs> cultural shit, right? So, <clears throat> in a fucking gamer chair, right? But the back screen, the curved screen, yeah, yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. This, the, I don't know if you do that live or afterwards, but the choreography with the imaging. Oh, no, that's live. Mm -hmm. So you have to right. get that timing right. All the timing, but then no, that's not up to me. That's up to them. That's up to the people in the control room. I thought, I honestly, the set looked fucking sick. My only issue is the chair. That's what my daughter said. My daughter said, why are you sitting in the game with you? The crazy part is um, when I was describing the set, and that's the thing, I, I don't know how to do technical terms. Jump so side. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I, so I'm like, can I tell you something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we walk in here, we got mad. We, you know, we have a lot of experience filming Santa. We do this shit every single mm -hmm. weekend, right? Mm -hmm. But... We're still ghetto about it. Like, we, we don't know the words. Yes. I don't even know the words. You know what I'm saying? So, so, thing, so, so like, there, there's one of the cameras, right, is is a camera that's called a steady cam. So the guy is able to move around the whole set and the mm. camera doesn't move. It's on this whole gyro. Right. He looks like Doc Ock. The shit is connected. The to camera with the stick yeah. that the dude be holding when he be running yeah, around. Yeah, we yeah. call that shit the handy cam. <laughs> right. Right? Cam, so yeah. we talk we, so Al and I go yeah get the handicam guy here he can move here get this shot or whatever and then everybody on the set is looking at us like what the, the fuck, fuck is, is a handicam <laughs> they don't want to say it to us because at the same time we're producing a fucking special right so bro, got we, your own language exactly but like you know what I'm talking about I know exactly what you're talking and they're about. like yes. the handicam I'm like the guy with the thing on his back <laughs> and they're like oh yeah the steady cam whatever y'all want to call it just make sure he gets the shot. When That's why you gotta I have only a good... know everybody that, that that fucking smart over there. Like everybody got really no, they're not guys, smart. Man. They just in their wheelhouse. They got their own vocabulary. They got their own vocabulary. I say that to Rachel all the time. My showrun. I said that to her this morning. I'm like, you know, I don't know the words. Yeah. So yeah. I gotta call her. So I'm looking at edits. I'm looking at this. I'm like, and I'm I just gotta explain where I want this shit. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, even when we was talking about the set design, I'm on the phone with the set designers. They like, so Charlemagne, what's your vision for the set? I'm like. I want it to look like the inside of the new Escalade. <laughs> and I want it to feel like, I want it to look like the inside of a new Escalade. And I want you to imagine Wakanda had a radio station. That's fire. <laughs> Yo, Wakanda radio station makes that's, sense. That's it. Yeah, and they, yeah, were, that's and they was like, is. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when the first rendering came back, it was very close. Yeah, yeah. Very close to what we, you know, was 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 trying to do. To work with. And we finally got it to where we got it. But that's all I need. Like, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a, I'm not a detail person. I'm an idea person. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm a yeah. big yeah. idea person. Yes. And then y'all come in here and tell me yeah, how to cool. make this yes. big idea work. I can yes. tell you exactly what I want and what I want it to feel like, but I can't give you all the intricate yeah. details. And yeah. then after we, after like that first rendering comes, now I can look and say, yeah, let's do this, let's do that, let's yeah, do that. Yeah, but I can't explain yeah. that shit in technical terms. Yeah. At all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I look really cool, man. Uh, yeah. We were watching it. We were in a... Uh, Cause it comes, it came out Friday. We got into Austin where we taped the special, and we we're at dinner, watching it. And um, shouts to YouTube TV. It was YouTube TV. Yeah. Or it's just fucking. It was on YouTube TV. Yeah. Well, YouTube TV oh, wow. has MTV. Got you. Got you. Got it's you. It's basically you. cable, Central. but through or Comedy Central. Yeah, yeah. It came on. No, it didn't come on MTV. It came on Comedy Central, VH1, and it aired on three networks that night. I definitely, I know oh, Comedy shit. Central, VH1, and I think Paramount Plus. Oh, we watched on Comedy Central. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. yeah. And um, it sparked an interesting dinner conversation. I love that. That's what this show's about. What did it spark? What was the conversation? So we're sitting there with like, how many of us? Like nine of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alex, Derek, Jamil. Three blacks. Black guys. Mm -hmm. Myself, Mark, Dove. Vala is Pakistani. Dove is from Africa. No. But white. So you are outnumbered. He's Moroccan. No, 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 you no. You're no. outnumbered. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then maybe another person. Not so, just eight. Okay, so it was, it was eight. And um, we're having a conversation about the accountability for white America. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're like, what is, and I was asking, I was like, what is the best way to make change? Is it pointing at 
what white America has done and making white people, because we looked at the shirts that you put out, right? Decrackify America. Yeah, but what is good it? Like, Decrackification. Not, not a bad white person or yeah. something. I'm like a good that. white person. GWP. Oh, yeah, yeah. That shit was super corny. Don't, don't, white people do not ever wear that fucking shirt. They kill please. it. Them shit's please. selling crazy. Yeah, black people buying them to, for their white No, friends. white people. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. So if you're crazy. a fucking white dude, you wear that shirt, you're a fucking loser. No way. You know what I'm saying? No, if you're a loser if you're a white dude who buys that shirt. white people are bad. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's the point. Yeah, if you're yeah. a white person who buys that shirt, you're drawing a line in the sand. And it's just like, and by the way, do you know what joke that episode was based off? You should know. You're a stand-up comic. Well, uh, what is it? The, I said it in the episode. Uh, I, well, I didn't watch. I wasn't able to watch the whole episode. Chris Rock, niggas versus yeah, black I people. Assumed, but yeah. Just like Chris Rock drew a line in the sand, and we had to pick a side. We're at yeah. a point in our society in 2021, especially when you got motherfuckers on horseback cracking reins or whips or whatever the fuck it is at Haitian migrants, yep. you got to draw a line in the sand. And Fair. a lot of white people like to identify themselves. You know what I learned that? My, my first book. My line in the sand is not wearing that, that shirt. That shit is killing. Don't fuck my merch <laughs> game up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't no, fuck my merch game up. Let me give you a compliment on this mm-hmm. because the, I imagine one of the points of the show is to have these conversations. Absolutely. So, so we're sitting there and I'm asking you guys, I'm like, what, and I'm asking these guys, and I go, guys, what do you think the, the way to start this conversation with white people is like, how do you get white people to acknowledge these things that have happened? And I asked them and I'm like, listen, maybe I have a very different background because I'm abundantly familiar with the fucked up shit that has transpired in America. And I asked them, I was like, was that not taught in your schools? No. Keep in mind, I have like a very unique father who has an obsession with Lincoln and the civil rights movement. And we'd fucking listen to Abraham Lincoln's I have a dream speech every uh, single day on his birthday. Like that's probably very unique for a white kid growing up. But because of it, I'm abundantly aware. And they're like, yeah, we kind of like, yeah, we talked about slavery a little bit, but like. But that's why they're trying to get rid of critical race there. Boom. Yeah. So so I'm like, OK, I, I'm not aware of that. So I'm having this conversation. I'm like, well, what is the best way to get white people to be on board? Is it to be subversive with it? Or do you have these straight on conversations? And Jamil says, he goes, look, I, I've known Jamil since I'm 13 years old. He's my best friend. He goes, it's not black people's responsibility to tell white people not to be shitty. Yeah. He goes, that's not our, that's not our responsibility. Like, hmm. and I go, I go, I go, well, but if you want people to change, don't you have to decide what the change is? He goes, we can make that decision ourselves. But it's not up to every one of us to walk up to every white person we see on the street and be like, are you shitty? Let me teach you how to not be shitty. It's our yeah. it's our job to thrive within this system that's fucked up and do whatever we can to do it. But like to say I have to go up to every single person, I was like, all right, that's an interesting conversation. He goes, he goes now within your group, if you love somebody and they happen to not be aware of these things, you would tell them anyway. Yeah, yeah. Just I mean, like you yeah. would tell them regardless. And I was like, I was like, because we were having that, we were, we were posing the question is like, is it black people's responsibility to decide how history should be told, et cetera? And I mean, we just got it's all of our responsibility to yeah. tell accurate history. Yes. You know what I mean? And I think that's the problem. That's so why everybody true. gets so mad about them trying to take critical race theory out of schools or the 1619 project. Like, bro, this is what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't, you can't sugarcoat it. You can't, you know, revise history. This is what happened. Yeah. This is how it went down. How do we course correct? Yeah. Now, Jamel's right. It's not our responsibility, but how many white people truly don't know that? And, and that's another conversation we had is like, there could be white people. Like, I remember this. This is a crazy moment. It's not even that crazy, but I just remember it. I was in college and there was this, this um, black dude, friend of mine. And there was this white dude that we didn't know at a party. And the white dude was like the like second week in a college and everybody's trying to make friends with the other. And um, the, the white dude very innocently like trying to like make friends mm-hmm. goes to black dude. So what's up, man? So like, are you playing a sport here or something? Like not, <laughs> not even trying to be racist. Like, yeah, just, just like ask, asking the white guy, like, question the black guy. Was he just tall? Uh, he was, he was in great shape. He wasn't tall, but he was in, he was in great okay, shape. Okay. I, get, was, I get that a lot. Right. Damn. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I bet. I bet. I bet. I get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. On the video game or something. I'm a tail. I can be a tailback. Yeah, we okay. always together. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. sure. <laughs> I can be a tailback. So he he said it to him, and like the guy, and the black dude goes, um, no, 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 no. I'm just going to school here. And then the white dude, you saw him feel so fucking embarrassed that he had this ingrained, mm. but it wasn't. Prejudice, like, I think you're worse. I truly believe that he was trying to connect. I know exactly what happened in that moment. he saw them as these things. 
But you you know what happens to me? Me staying where I stay at now, and like I see everybody they always want to tell me that they're not racist, and I appreciate that. They yeah, always, yeah, yeah. always want to tell me, and they always be like, you know what happened to that guy by the store or the other guy that got shot? Like I I really don't care. That's why Just they gotta buy the I'm a good white person. T-shirt. That's all you gotta do. If <laughs> so you buy it that kills shirt, the conversation. I'm, really if, I'm, if I'm racist, I'm buying all them shirts. <laughs> <laughs> That's a disguise. I'm in the KKK. I'm buying all them shirts. I'm walking around. Like, Thank you, Sean. Yes, I got it. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. That's like a vaccine. That's like a vaccine. That's a vaccine. Yeah, that's, a vaccine. Yeah, that's, a vaccine. that's what you did, yo. That's a shirt. 100%. You know what's so funny? What you said about uh, the, the guy, right? I know exactly what that black dude was going through in that moment. Yeah. Because you're questioning yourself. You're like, was that racist? Yeah, what yeah. is he actually saying? I wrote about that. I wrote about that in Shook One. Like literally, I was in the office, I was in a meeting with a big time executive, president of a network. This was years ago. And he said to me, he goes, Boy, you really doing your thing. I don't remember nothing else from the meeting. Cause in my mind, I'm like, did he call did me he a, a boy? boy? Yeah. <laughs> like, did he call me like did he call me a boy? And I don't you you don't know how to react. Yeah. So you yeah. say, yo, don't call me no boy. Like, whatever. So I'm just sitting there. Then his, his secretary or somebody walked in. And he, I don't know if it was, I think it was raining. And he goes, he goes, boy, it's raining hard out there. And I'm like, oh, that's just the way he talks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But when you're black, or maybe even a woman, and I'm sure even white people get that now too in certain cases. Like when you hear certain things, you're like, is that racist? Is that sexist? Look, Should I say something? Should I not say, say something? To make it racist though. What, what do you say towards white person? people? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. We don't really care about that. That's what that I said. You can't really say nothing. No, yeah. they do it's care. Like, That's why they keep coming up to you saying, I'm not racist in this neighborhood. No, like, I'm just saying. They don't, it, they don't want to glare. You're looking too hard. No, like, but, or, they, or they come and try to do it even softer. Be like, oh, you must play Paul or something. Like, what are you doing around here? See, that's what he just and said. I'm like, <laughs> I'm a fucking farmer. <laughs> Look at my boots, bro. You're in a fluent. You're, you're in but, a fluent area. But, you're big. You think, oh, that must be a giant. He must be doing jet. something. I'm no serious. Way he it's here. true. It's true. No, but I, I, I guess. It. I guess that like maybe we have to create a different sliver of of uh, like it's like a different portion of under the racism umbrella where the racism is ingrained and the stereotyping is ingrained. And because you've had so little interaction with that group of people, you're going to assume that they are that thing. I've had this happen. I've had this happen with uh, non-white people to me, right? Like uh -huh. I can tell non -white if white people, like, for example, I can tell if black people haven't had a lot of white friends or haven't interacted with a lot yeah. of white people because they start treating me like an exec. Yeah, <laughs> or a cop. Yeah, or a cop. Or no, yeah, we're like, cop. We've, had, we've had guests on the show. I won't say, but I remember during the episode, up. I was like, "Oh, these dude. The only time they've been around white people is executives." Cause they treat me like the exec, like they're using a white guy voice to me, and they're they're going like, shit. "Oh, he's uncomfortable right now." And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and then, yeah, and then yeah, I realized, yeah. no, no, no you, you, it's, it's that's what black people mean when they be like, "Nah, he cool, he cool." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shows yeah, one, yeah, he shows yeah, one yeah, us, yeah, you know what I mean? Cool. Yeah, so we know how to talk to them. It, yeah. yeah, exactly. But they felt like they couldn't talk like themselves to me because they've never had enough white friends that I guess understood that. The only time they see white people doing something is like Karens and, and Bobby. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And the same thing with white people. There's that white guy that I went to college with. He probably had no black friends growing up. Yes. The only time he interacted with black people was probably when he was playing a sport and they were also playing a sport. So he thinks that's what black people are doing to school. I don't even think he hates black people. Mm -hmm. I just think he hasn't put enough effort into knowing that that's not the only role they have. And maybe within his group, within his community, <laughs> there's no fucking up. black people for him to even understand that. So what is that? Is that, is that racism? Is that, that's no, not hatred? No. It's just, I mean, it's, it's a form of profiling, I guess, but maybe the dude was diesel or something. You've never had an Asian friend in your life and in the street, Asian guy walks up to you and goes like that. What do you think is gonna happen? Come on, I've never had that happen. Um, what do you think is gonna happen? What do you mean? <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm gonna say I've never had that happen. <laughs> well, 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 so that's I mean, yeah, I'm thinking you want to fight, I, not because exactly. you Asian, no. This, he I'm, goes not, like I'm, that. I'm like, what you try? You challenging me? Like, but if I see a black guy like that too, well, I'm, no, like, I'm, I'm on point. Like black guy, like, guess I'm slapping his fucking mouth. There's no way. Black guy fights like this. Shows black people know karate too. One guy in the hood. No. One guy per no. one hey, guy per black name. By the way, the best martial away. artist I know is a mentor of mine, Dr. Robert Evans. I don't even know what his degree black belt is, but he's like the top guy in modern vijitsu. You can Google yeah, him now. They, they actually just had a Most seminar this weekend. Them vijitsu dudes, and a lot of them is black. Jiu-jitsu. Jiu no, no. Vijitsu. He's different. Taught to you by Professor V. V-E-E. -E. Look it up. Vijitsu. Them motherfuckers will fuck you up. Because not fuck only do they believe in martial up. arts, they believe in whatever's in the room is used 
to win the fight. Oh, wow. <laughs> As they should. That's yes. No, okay. Uh, you understand what I'm trying to say. No, I, get like, you, I get you. I get you. If you grew up in New York, you had tons of Asian friends and stuff like that, you're not going to assume that they all understand karate. But if your only exposure to them is through these movies yes, that you've seen, I get what you're the saying. assumption that you have. But I don't think that's hatred. But it's, no, it's not. I don't think it's problem. hatred. I don't think that's hatred. You see, you see a shark, you think it's going to eat you because For you've sure. only seen sharks if eat I see people a rat, in the movies. It's going to go up my leg. Exactly, because you've only yeah. seen that fucking thing in the subway. Mm -hmm. But if you swim in the ocean all the time like Duval, you swim with sharks knowing that they don't want to eat you at all. But now you understand why people get so mad about perceptions in the media. Yes, because those perceptions in the media influence how people think about yes. everyone. Yes. That I hundred percent understand. They, they need somebody like you know you go about to go to college and your uncle and them talk to you about girls. Yeah. This, this how you talk to girls when yeah. you first see them. Somebody just taught her wrong. So you know that's why you need that's why you need uh, these different activities. Like that's why you need sports. Like mm -hmm. like for example, you said your your daughter does uh, cheerleading. cheerleading, competitive cheerleading, competitive yep. cheerleading, like. She's gonna she's she gonna be around some white girls. She's gonna be around, around some Latin Asian girls, etc. Right. right. That's so right. now when she sees white girls in college or high school, wherever the fuck she's gonna see them in life, it's not this foreign thing that she only understands through watching a TV show. Mm -hmm. It's that girl that's her friend from cheerleading. Absolutely. And I, but to you, sometimes they don't shower. Sometimes they're absolutely. mean. Sometimes mm -hmm. they're really sweet. Sometimes they're religious. Yeah. They could be anything. And I'm gonna tell you something. That's why it's very important. And I keep, I'm telling all my white homies this. That's why it's very important to draw a line in the sand in this era, because the images you see in the media right now, yeah. from social media yeah. to TV to everything, is white people are bigots, white people are bad, mm. you know, they're all Trump supporters, they all want to yeah. set us back. Right That's why it's important Even for cops. to draw that line in the sand right now. Even more Probably... More important than ever, at least in my generation. Right, right, right. That's, that's the reason. My son Because you don't want to be like, seen. Now, I understand the the impetus uh, for putting out the shirt because you're like, hey, you don't want to be seen as these fucked up people yes. that the news is pushing out because the news and media in general is based on fear and what's the scariest thing? The scariest thing is, a, is a racist person. The scariest Absolutely. thing Karen. is a dangerous felon. She's, like, she's more scary than the cops right now. Facts. And my son, he's eight and he was like, dad, there's a cop. You know what I'm saying? Like, he don't, why are cops killing us and stuff like that? I'm like, not all of them do that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, like, that's right. That's the image he of that's them. Right. You know that's right. Because your brother's a cop. Yeah, and that's, 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 that's what you tell him. Uncle Ike is a cop. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. But that's all he sees. So now he yeah. sees a cop is not, oh, run to the cop for protection. Run to, oh, I got to stay away from him. He's going to try to kill me. I'm a black guy. So so how do you how do you communicate that to, they need to other have, black people who don't have a cop in the family or don't have, you know. I'm a good, I'm a good cop shirt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but see, we, we've been saying that about police officers. We need them to draw a line in the sand too. But they don't. Because that blue wall of silence really is yeah, about tough. camaraderie. Like, they can't mm -hmm. speak out. You know what I mean? Like, I even talk about in this week's episode. This week's episode is called Only the Feds I Fear If the God's Honest is True. And I talk about an FBI agent who actually did try to expose, you know, the racial discrimination in the mm -hmm. FBI, the dirty. religious discrimination in the FBI. They put him in jail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he yeah. got sent to prison. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Are you or you think about people like Carriel Horn in Buffalo, New York, who actually stopped a white cop from choking out a black man, like did what a cop should do. Yeah. She got fired. Wow. Lost her pension. I think she just won her case. Yeah, case was going now, on for like yeah. 20 years. She just won her case. That's because she came on Breakfast Club last year and we put a big spotlight on it. Wow. And, you know, she ended up raising a whole bunch of money and won her case and right. she's probably going to end up getting her pension back. You know what I mean? But right. we have to, yo, you got to draw lines in the sand, man, especially in this era. And that's why words matter. And, you know, even with, with the word cracker, that's a word. That's love, not a slur. I love, I love it. It's a word that means a racist bigot. Period. So use it. Oh, does it mean that? Yes. That's a oh. real word. Like they, And I talked about it in the Crack last episode. Whips. It's Crack a book. It. It's a I white guy like named it. Dana. I just learned from this show. From, it's a cracker. He was cracking whips. Yo, oh, yeah, I knew that. A, a white guy I named Dana St. Clair wrote yeah. a book called Cracker in like the 1940s, 1900s or some shit like uh -huh. that. And it talked about where the term derived from, why people use the term, who get who, who they used to use the term for. So it's an actual word. And what's the chances of me having that episode last week and then this week we see <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers on horseback at the border fucking using reins or whatever it was. Where the shit's from? What's the, what's the chances? What are the chances? <laughs> what's, what's the budget for that Comedy Central show? That's what I want to know. Huh? Did we send some people to the border, Charlemagne? Yo, yeah, can you, the Biden shit. administration is fucking crazy, yo. Like, you know what's so crazy? You saw the, uh, the press secretary today. She goes, or maybe it was yesterday. She goes, and add this audio, Taylor, y'all got girl? time. Who is that, that girl? Jen, Jen 
Psaki, Saki, Jin Saki, something oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, goes, yeah. Oh no, that's the girl, the uh one time at band camp. She, oh. did you, <laughs> listen, she goes, she goes, we're getting rid of the horses. No more horses. So it's just yeah. guys with whips? Word is born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you forgot about the whips. Word is born. Yeah, it wasn't the horses. Suspending the horses? That was the problem. Word yeah. is born. Yeah. What about the, the guy that was doing that? Forget the, the inhumane acts they were doing to the Haitian migrants. Forget the whip-like cords or whatever, because that's the other shit that is so mind-boggling. It was a, it's not a whip. It was a rain. Who gives a fuck what it oh. was? Well, if it was a rain for the horse, I mean, I mean, you know more about that shit than me, right? Like, you've ridden horses and stuff, right? Yeah, but that rain can be turned yeah. into a whip. Yeah, oh, I thought it's connected to the horse. And, and by the way, I don't even know if it was a rain. Oh, I just see people shit. people's argument to not have the whip it's, it's, conversation. This thing is real long, but that shit, regardless, you get hit by wow, that word up. Oh, I thought reins for a horse were the things that you, you hold, hold on. on to. Yeah, as you go. Yeah, regardless, it if it was a long one, you still getting whipped by it. Got you. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whip is a whip. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I just thought it was a whip until y'all told me it was a rain right now. I, do you think uh, decrackification could work in America? When you see how what happened in Germany with denazification? My honest feeling on this is that it is our responsibility to do, to expedite the process of healing, but time heals all wounds. Yeah, so it'll take time. And the, the biggest problem that I think that we've done in America is implemented legislation to slow down the healing of the wounds. Oh, break that down. Break that down. So it's like we go from slavery to legislation that is holding down black people. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just, yeah, I get you. So, so it's still, it's, yeah, yeah. it starts to heal, right? The black yeah, yeah, communities yeah, yeah. start to build up. Mm -hmm. There starts to be some wealth and prosperity in the black world. And then Tulsa, Tear, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. tear the fucking Band-Aid off, tear the scab off, yeah, right? Yeah. Redlining, tear the Band-Aid, tear yeah. the scab Mass off, Mass incarceration, right? war on drugs. Boom, yeah. right? So it's just like, for me, I, I, I really truly believe if you let people interact with one another and give them the freedom to be good to one another, and I think that we do have a great constitution, I, I, I really do believe if everybody got their constitutional rights and we were given the freedom to operate and interact with one another, we could build up some pretty cool communities because I witnessed that growing up in New York where all of us just got to be here. We're squeezed yeah, close yeah. together and we kind of get along. We all kind of talk similar. You know what I mean? We dress them. Like, I like sports. It's Brotherhood. It's, sports is the great equalizer. Yeah. But by the way, that's all protesters are fighting for. I and mean, whenever you see, you know, what is this, Black Lives Matter or whoever, whenever you yeah. see protest, civil rights movement, all they're asking is that this shit that's in the Constitution, y'all motherfuckers reinforce for everybody. Get the politicians out of the way. Politicians are the worst. No, I agree. The worst human Middle, beings on the planet. I agree. Anybody who wants power is a bad person. The, anybody who goes, I want to be powerful. I want to control that's real, humans. So you are a bad human being. Yeah, I don't no, care who so, you are. That's real. I don't, and it could be any, anybody from that's fucking real. Trump to AOC to all of them that's are real. bad. That's real. So, so I want them out of the way because I know that when it's 10 of us in a room and we've been in all these different rooms with all these different people and as long as that door's shut, nothing's recording, everybody starts busting balls, everybody mm -hmm. starts talking, honest opinions start flying. Let's be of service to each other. Let's figure out how we can sit down on one accord and make the world better for all of us. Mm -hmm. And what does that is equality. Yes. That's it. I'm not asking for anything more. I'm just not asking for anything less. And, yeah. You know what or I'm saying? Like Nothing less. Like, and person. don't hold you down. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah, yeah the yeah. laws right. and rules that are, right. that are put up to for literally everybody. stop right. you guys from achieving equality, that's the most fucked up that's shit. Right. Like, we, I think we said this on a podcast, but that to me is the best argument for reparations. Is, is I know this sounds crazy, but it's not slavery. It's what happened after slavery to stop the economic progress. Mm -hmm. Like if you're literally seeing a community start to build up and then you tear the legs out from under it, that mm -hmm. is the, to use your term, the crackification. I think it's all of it, to be honest with you. Yes, but like every group in history has been enslaved, it's right? E it's easy to change the argument from slavery because then people are like, well, I wasn't around back then. Or we wasn't around or back they then. Go, or they go, well, I was enslaved in fucking Scotland by the English. I guess I deserve yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like everybody goes, but, but what about all, of, like you said, the racist redlining. legislation that actually held black people down? Nah, that's, that's What about when all the middle-class white people got to buy a home and Absolutely. build wealth and the black oh, people didn't? Oh, and now you see a discrepancy in the exact community. Like you can literally draw a map around the redlining communities and see the discrepancy in wealth. Right. And it's right. like, okay, well maybe you should make up for that. 
That was a rule put in place. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, don't yeah. give me that pull yourself up by your bootstrap shit Absolutely. if you're not even letting anybody get bootstraps. Absolutely. No, for sure. All these years, me trying to get all my all my zoning and all my things for my land, they were stopping me for years. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For yeah. Years. So it was just I like told that. You stop yeah. showing up. I know. I keep telling you that. Stop Even showing. Else. Stop showing up. Just call you up for that. I'm saying white guy. That's the white guy. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But that's what you're saying. I'm just telling you what you're saying. Like if I this and the white guy, it would have been like this. But yeah, they they see me coming in there. They're like, Are you crazy? You mother. need to wear. <laughs> Get your. You want to do what? Nah, you need a good white person shirt. You yeah. need to go to the court where the good white person shirt. So no shirt slap, actually. I just realized that no shirt is so funny. That's what I'm wearing for Halloween. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm a good white yeah, person. Because it's a costume. And then you know what else it says? It says, G, it, says, it, says it says, I'm GWP. Yeah, you know me. No, listen, so white people saying, love that type of only, shit. Only thing you say is there's no good white people. That's all you say. The only thing you say is there's no good white people. They're going to put it on for like the bullshit. They There's lying. no good white people. Then why are you saying what's wrong with they saying good white people is a, is a joke? We're the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how cricket. That's how cricket starts. But here's the thing: start, like races start to look like good white people. <laughs> We're great white best people. Life. We need to make what white people great talk? again. That's <laughs> yes. yeah, Where's that shirt? These shirts are fire. Yo, but you know what's so crazy? <laughs> yeah, the shirt works for everybody. It right. works for races. It <laughs> yeah. works for not races. Yeah. It works for black people. This is the most dynamic shirt Every, ever. Uh, Sell these shirts. Everybody out. buy it. Hold on, let me give you all the website while we yeah. at it. But you know, <laughs> listen, out. I'm telling you, the thing this about it, a genius, bro. the thing about it is, They really though, say that. What? <laughs> they the best. That, if, you go, right? if you go to people with them flags and stuff like that, the most they, racist they, they, white people they are the like, greatest are, motherfuckers yeah. in America. White supremacists. Why wouldn't they think that? That's why it was so funny when Chico Bean did his field piece, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, when, 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 I, when me and Chico, I was telling Chico the idea and you know, Chico was like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna I'm tell them that, you know, they, that they lost like the Super Bowl, so we're gonna send their shit to a third world country. I'm like, oh, that's gonna slap. You gotta yeah. tell them that right yeah, 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 yeah. now. The, the look of disappointment on yeah, the guy's yeah, face. That's great. That that's like, that, it's was like, great, that was the greatest part. It's like yeah, he yeah, never, yeah. it's like he never, he yeah. just realized they lost. Yeah, yeah. And you support a loser <laughs> yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> South Carolina. Remember we was on the boat? Remember we was on the boat with Colbert and, mm -hmm. and them? Mm -hmm. We on the boat, South Carolina. This is, when was this? Two, three months ago. 17. No. This right. guy, this, this, bad this, no. There's a boat. It just called me. I just, I just realized. It. <laughs> we need a deep crack of this show. Yes. Deep crack of my <laughs> But there was a boat and these guys had a bunch of Trump flags on the boat. Right. Like a mm -hmm. bunch just riding oh, yeah, in the water. Seen, yeah. And like, it didn't upset me. I'm just sitting there like, and I told the boat, I go, why do People in the South love to celebrate the losers. Hey, bro. <laughs> like, y'all lost. Hey, and then, bro. but, but then I had to think, I'm a Cowboys fan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, like, like, man. No, no, you two are living in the past. I'm, I'm living in the fucking past. Did, have you said that as a joke on the show? No. That's a funny joke. <laughs> well, no, Chico said it this week. <laughs> but I the guess, Cowboys eh. thing? No, I never said the Cowboys thing. No, because that's really funny. It's like, I don't understand how they could support that you lost. Like, it is. You're living in the past, all these things, and then you realize you're a Cowboy. I'm a fucking Cowboy. That's why I get it. It was greater back then. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, we, we got to try again. Yeah, but tonight's episode, 10 o'clock, uh, is called Only the Feds I Fear. And you know. Well, I just want I just wanted to tell you that um, you are a dear friend of mine, I love you, and it still sparked a conversation, a real conversation, without you, privately, amongst That's my all other want. dear friends. And I feel like, That's all I want. to me, that is the biggest compliment. Like, when you put a piece out, and That's then all I want. people start having a conversation. And it was a conversation amongst a diverse group of friends, and those are the groups they need to have these conversations. Yeah, that's all I want. And you, you know, I was- You see who's who. Exa you see who's who, and also mm -hmm. you get to fill the gaps. You get to go, oh, wow, I didn't realize that some people don't live this life. And that's why at the yeah. end of the show, I specifically say, if you're more mad you at me- kill specifically right there, bro. Hey, so I, you, I, want, I would never know how to pronounce. No, nah, you killed that I one. I did, I That was it. the greatest yeah. pronunciation specifically that you've really? ever done on this podcast. <laughs> bro, it was unbelievable, dog. <laughs> That was unbelievable. But well, that's why I specifically said at the end of the episode. Nah, nah, you, got to, nah you went too far. <laughs> fuck it up. Yeah. I went back to the you ocean. Said, I'm, I'm saying specifically. Out. Specifically. <laughs> I specifically say, the, uh, if if you're more mad at me using the word cracker, then you are all the evil racist things that make someone a cracker. Yeah, yeah. Then you're probably a cracker too. Like, take a step back for a second and be like, yeah. 
Yeah. Like, he's not wrong, especially when you talk about denazification in Germany and you see what they did in Germany and the fact that America helped Germany denazify. The fucking nerve. I mean, we... we... <laughs> and, hey, and, and Hitler said he was influenced by the way America treated blacks and indigenous people. Like, yeah. God damn. I mean, I'm sure he, he was said that? that to drive a wedge. Like, I, Hey, man, either way. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, can yeah, see yeah. why he would be inspired yeah, by what yeah, was yeah. going on over here. Um, well, let, let's take a break, pay some bills, uh, come back, do church announcements, and we can talk uh, Karen Civil. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I need to make sure y'all got the hardest dicks in the business, and the way we do that is the chew, okay? Same active ingredients as inside Viagra Cialis, but this is the chew. This is the one we use. This is the one we keep our wives happy, okay? Our girlfriends satisfied and our side chicks super invested. That's what we do. It's the chew. It's the one that you got to do. If you want to shatter a spinal column, you got to bust out on the chew and you're going to get to do it for free. All you got to do is go to bluechew.com. Make sure you use the promo code IDIOTS. And all you have to do is pay $5 shipping. Think about that. Bluechew.com, promo code IDIOTS, $5 shipping, and you get the greatest dick you've ever had in your life. Ladies, you deserve it too. So get your man on it and have a fun weekend together. Now let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because y'all need to step up your sex game. And the way you're going to do that is with Adam and Eve, okay? Adam and Eve, the originators of the sex game. Adam and Eve is the leading sex toy company in the USA for more than 45 years. They have built up a reputation as a trusted and reliable adult store, okay? That takes pleasure and privacy seriously. When you want to shop erotic toys, Adam and Eve has it all. Men and women, straight or gay, and anywhere in between, they have the adult toys that you're looking for, okay? They have 24-7 hour customer service, 90-day no-hassle returns, 20% of their profit goes to fight the spread of HIV around the world. How incredible is that? You can buy a dildo and save lives. How many different websites can, can do that? Probably none, okay? So, 2021 is A&E's, Adam and Eve, 50th anniversary. So what you're gonna do is go to adamandeve.com, adamandeve.com, use the promo code IDIOTS, you're gonna get 50% off one item plus free shipping in the US and Canada. Some exclusions might apply, but think about that, okay? You go to adamandeve.com, and use the promo code IDIOTS, you can get 50% off one item plus free shipping in the U.S. and Canada. I mean, that is an absolute no-brainer. Go make sure you do that. Support Adam and Eve. Support your healthy uh, sex life. And support the stop of HIV spreading around the world. God bless it. Now let's get back to the show. Oh, yeah. So, so you got some church announcements? Yes, sir. Infamous tour. Um, we are, we're going to be in Las Vegas this weekend. That's sold out, but we'll see y'all there. And then we're going to be in uh, Louisville and Cincinnati the weekend after that. Um, make sure you go check out theandrewschultz.com for tickets. San Francisco, we add another show. A few tickets left for that. Chicago, D.C., we add another show. Indianapolis, Madison, more stuff coming. And then I got a cool announcement uh, coming in the near future. And of course, uh, the special, we're cooking it up. We're editing the special. You know, make sure you guys DM Mark and, um, and Alex and, uh, you know, tell them not to take any free time with their loved ones for the next few months because we got a <laughs> very important job to do. So, When's it uh, dropping? Next year? Or? Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Mm. I don't know yet. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I got to I gotta feel that out. You know, we still have tour dates. So it's like some inside baseball with stand-up. It's like I want to make sure I develop enough new material by the time we drop it so Smart. I can continue Smart. these, oh, these oh. to tour. And I still want to tour this thing that I've been working on. You know, this hour of material is, I've really crafted over the last few years. So it's like, I want to give those people this show. So, but yeah, definitely next year, not not before this year. I think ideally we have it locked before I get married mm. in December and then definitely comes out next year. But uh, yeah, theandrewschultz.com, make sure you check that shit out. Wax, church yes, announcements? Yes, sir. I got the Rush Charger. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Y'all go get that, rushcharger.com. Go get it. Put the um, promo code Who's Wax and Wax King. And also, you know, I got my gummies. Word. Yo. Chokes. Oh, shit. These are new strand? That's a new flavor, Fuck. man. I got, I got the, the cherry flavor. I got the watermelon flavor. Who's Wax.net. Um, I mean, make sure y'all go ahead and get that. 
I got the Bully and the Beast. Y'all go watch that on uh, every Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? We got our mask, our merch. We got the teeth, titties, and toes. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to go get those shirts. And I see the three Fs. Y'all know what the three Fs What's the is. three Fs? Food, fuck, fun. That's how you get a girl. You you got a fiance. You better add a no, fourth after that motherfucking no, faithful. No, I'm very faithful, but I'm just saying, like, this is what these guys out here want to do. A lot of my listeners, they... they How do you be very you don't got, faithful? Word of you don't got time for single single shit no yeah, more. Well, listen, yeah, yeah. they want to buy Yo, we it. just they trashing like on food, people's merch fun. today. That's but, what we're doing. But, but, <laughs> I, I see. <laughs> 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 he said, you know what? I'm going to get you back. I hear merch? Fuck your merch, nigga. Fuck your merch. I'm see your Fuck your people, motherfucker. Y'all going to get the teeth, titties, and toes, and food, fuck, Fun man, yeah. that's I'm telling. That's how you get a girl. You know what I'm saying? You can food fuck fun her, and that's how you get her. So. Food, food fuck fun her. Yeah, that's you feed sun. her. She's always going to be happy. Yeah, you tell her a joke. She's going to laugh. And you fuck her right. That's how you keep her. Unless mm. you got another F, which is finger penis, which I learned about this week. What's yeah. finger penis? People with penises look like fingers. What does that mean? Finger penises. Like, imagine really? penis 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 like some could be pinky, some could be middle, and the hitchhikers. Oh, y'all got it bad. Yo, <laughs> the thumb dicks. <laughs> Wait a minute here. You didn't know about finger penises? No. I didn't know about it till last week. So what, skinny? girls? Look at your hand and tell yeah, me watching me. Skinny? I overheard. No, no, no. Like, like, oh, length. Oh, your length. Oh, because I was like, this skinny, you might as well just finger a girl. I heard Seven Street, Seven Street was on Breakfast Club and she bought that shit up and I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck is a finger penis? Yeah. That shit is a real thing. Who's Yo, that, Seven Streeter? She's a uh, R&B artist. What's wrong with that? If a guy meet this big, I, well, I guess, I don't know. Uh, I'm just saying, girls don't know how voluminous their vaginas are. <laughs> because, you know, if you right? finger a girl, no they way still to tell, act crazy, like, right? Say what? If you finger a girl, they still like, uh, uh, that's That's, yeah. the, that's what so, a dude with a finger penis does to make themselves feel better. It's not my dick, it's your vagina. It's too wide. Well, now you're saying I have a finger penis, but I, I think <laughs> I, what I'm trying to say is that there's a lot of times girls will, will talk about the size of a guy's meat, but there's no way to really tell the size of a girl's pussy. That's like, true. But it, I mean, that's but, a good point. But you know I what I understand? That we should put a girl be having so much fun when they playing with their stuff and they got little hands, little fingers. Mm -hmm. And why can't a little meat do the exact same? Uh, as I can tell you the exact reason. That's why I said it on the radio this morning. You take your little finger penis yeah. and just rub it on the girl's clitoris. Start a fire. <laughs> but that's not inside. Fire. That's what girls do with their finger. They do it on the clitoris. No, some of them put it inside or whatever. Just act like it's, it's your finger and close but your they eyes. Nah, it but it's still the clitoris holy water. Huh? <laughs> they just do get that to get the holy water. Wet. So they can go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man, make sure you watch the uh the God's Honest Truth. Y'all are pissing okay. Chris the fuck off right now. <laughs> Chris is turning red. I recognize Tom All right, Chris, Chris is tired hey, of y'all shitting I on hey, hey, Tom hey, Wall, Chris. That I cannot wait to be on one of these like panels with a bunch of these like actors that that uh that care about the world and all this kind of shit. And I'm just gonna look right in their fucking face and go, do you recognize Taiwan? Yeah, I know you got a movie coming out. Do you recognize Taiwan? <laughs> <laughs> I like, cannot I don't even, wait. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know what that means. Explain. So, so China <laughs> is... I'm laughing because it sounds funny, but I want to no, give it so, the whole context. So basically, China is uh, such a huge market. Now yeah. that there's no DVD sales, mm -hmm. overseas uh, box office is massive, right? So for example, Fast and the Furious made, I think, $139 million the first weekend. Nope. $134 million came from China, right? That's really? why John Cena had to apologize to China in fucking uh, Mandarin, yeah. okay? So... Hollywood is terrified of pissing off China because they know how much money can come from that market and it's really hard to get into that market. So these actors that are all woke and they've got their causes and all this kind of shit like Oh, so that. it's like the NBA. That's why they... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, got you, got exactly. you, got you, got you. Got so you. I can't wait sure. to see them talking about this. Oh, we need to help the environment or we got to care more about people and we need to go out there and make change. And they're just like, so do you recognize Taiwan or got not? You, got you, and got then you. just watch them fucking crumble. So, 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 so wait, this China is big and then oh, yeah, Taiwan yeah, so, inside of China? No, so Taiwan used to be part of China. I mean, Chris's uh, family is Taiwanese. Chris. Okay. He could probably Your time to shine, Chris. Him. So all these other uh, Asian uh, places are in China. China considers Taiwan to be a breakaway Republic, uh, people like my wife's family would consider Taiwan to be an independent country. Uh, it was actually a Japanese colony for a long time, which is why my father-in-law speaks Japanese. Uh, it's a complicated issue. I, actually, Andrew, you got it pretty good, I got to say. Thank you, man. So if Andrew said that to a, a panel of actors, they would crumble. Why? I though? think more, more likely they just wouldn't. No. You know, most people don't know what Taiwan is. They confuse yeah. it with Thailand. Uh, it's just not on most Americans' radar. But, uh, you know, Hong Kong is another example you could use just as easily as Taiwan right now. I mean, what's going on in Hong Kong right now is actually really scary and uh, it's not being reported. And it's like one of these situations, at least for me, where 
I find myself uh, agreeing with a lot of conservative politicians that I would usually never want to talk to because they're the only ones who are kind of sticking up for what's happening over there right now. So it's an interesting situation. I don't even know what's happening in Hong Kong. Well, yeah, and, and Chris, wild. you obviously know way better, but wouldn't you say that like uh, Hong Kong is less derivative to China than Taiwan? Like Taiwan is its own country, completely independent, whereas Hong Kong has a kind of relationship with China, right? Yeah. Yeah, Hong Kong, there's no question that it was all, you know, it was it was leased essentially by the British for 100 years. And then right. the lease came up recently and it was given back. Taiwan is really the people. I mean, I don't want to take you guys down a whole, you know, Taiwanese black hole right now. But uh, who controls Taiwan, what Taiwanese people are, it's completely up in the air. It's, the, the island itself, it's only about 25 miles away from China. But the people who traditionally live there are what you would call indigenous. They look closer to Filipinos. Mm. And then they started bringing waves of Chinese immigrants over 400 years ago. Then the Japanese took it over. So it's who's Taiwanese, who's not Taiwanese, what does Taiwan belong to? These are all questions that no one really has an answer for, but China's position is that's part of our country. I, I tried to get into this debate on Twitter a couple of weeks ago, and so many Chinese bots came after me. I'd almost shut down my account. But they, but they, but they don't pay taxes to China, right? They don't no, obey any Chinese country. rules. I mean, it's, it's, it's completely insane. independent. Try. Like, what's wrong with that, though? There's nothing wrong with that. China acts wrong. as if it isn't, and if you say that it isn't, they won't do business with you. They'll shut down your. Mo- I mean, that's what happened with the NBA, right? Like, sure. They literally, well, it was for Hong Kong, but there are people who have said, you know, that they support China. I think. Um, Maybe a watch, or they support Taiwan. I think a a watch it, and even if it's like in passing conversationally, like, yeah, the movie's gonna come out in Taiwan. I'm excited to see that country experience it. Then China goes, wait, what country? That country is us. Oh, it's oh I get it. So even though they are an independent, they don't entity. They don't acknowledge China it. won't acknowledge that exactly. they're an independent. Okay, right, that makes so all China sense is like more. the United States <clears throat> and Taiwan and Japanese like Georgia. Uh, no, L.A. Ty- Taiwan. Huh? No, Taiwan is like, yo, we're Mexico, dog. We're not from your country. Like, we are our own country. And then China's like, nah, you're no, America. I get it. I y'all, get it. y'all in our map, so you yeah. gotta be in here. Yup. It, yes. It'd be like if we said Cuba's not its own country. We control Cuba. Even though clearly Cuba's its own country, clearly they have their own government, their own currency, everything is Puerto Cuban, Rico. but we're just saying, no, 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 no. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, listen, see the show dot my Shopify dot com. <laughs> Okay, that's where you can get all the merch. You can get the good white people shirt, the decrackification shirt, the decrackify America shirt. It's all available at C the Show, C T H A S H O W dot my Shopify dot com. Now, uh, Karen Civil, I really don't know what's going on with the Karen Civil situation, Jersey. man. You know what I mean? Jersey. I mean, for me, it's like, you know, I fuck with all parties involved. You know what I mean? So like, I tough. fuck with Karen, I fuck with Jason, I fuck with Jonah. I just don't know. Like, I, here's the thing. I'm still gonna fuck with these people. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, like it's not gonna make me stop fucking with any of them. Karen hit me last week, asked me to connect her with Joyner. Like, I like peace. I like everybody to be on mm-hmm. good common ground. I like healing. That's what I'm about. I don't like all the drama shit. So yeah. if KC asked me to hit Joyner, who I fuck with, and 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 get them on the phone, yeah, yo, Joyner, KC wanna holler at you. Joyner, like, big bro, if she ain't trying to run me back, you know, my money. I, I don't know what she would want to talk about, but I'm I, I'm 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 down to talk. Cool. I, I guess they didn't talk. You know what I mean? And then it all played out on social media. But yeah. same thing with Jason. I That's can't. The part I hate the social media. The shit. social media part. Yeah. Whenever there's an audience, it just it's stops all performative. It's also yeah. all fucking gasoline on the fire. Exactly. And it would. And you know, her, her and Jason got their own issues. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not in between none of that. Jason yeah. won't come on Birth Club and talk about it. Cool. Karen won't come on Birth Club and talk about it. Cool. I. Tell both of them, like, y'all, y'all sure y'all want to have this conversation publicly? Why, you know, why can't y'all yeah. communicate amongst each other? Mm. If they got don't, guy, they like don't. So. You know, Karen said, yeah, I got his page taken down. Which, by the way, I don't, I respect. <laughs> okay? I'm that person. <laughs> Is that uh, the person who's been taking Duval's page down on No, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> we got to have a conversation with Karen about that. Listen, she that man. Kind of power. Listen, everybody says that, but by the way, Jason has gotten people pages taken down too. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? So it's just like, I get it. And you can't it's, say and that. And I'm an outsider, but tell me if this is kind of what it seems like. Mm-hmm. If you pay the the mafia to do something and it doesn't get done, you can't go to the cops and say, hey, 
I paid the mafia to do something. I need my money back. <laughs> right? Like, the thing is, he's so not like, the mafia. It, you doing illegal shit, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. if you're paying Karen to get you more views or get you more whatever. Is that illegal? Though? I don't know if that's illegal. Yeah, though. I think that, it might not be illegal. A company. It might yeah, not, not be illegal, illegal. I don't think that's but illegal. If, if the measures that she's going to take are, are illegal, like if she's going to use some of that money for payola and she's paying out DJs and doing this kind of stuff, and then those DJs don't... Paying a toll. That's not, by the way, that, I'm not saying that's what she does. No, no, I'm saying hypothetically, yeah, 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 hypothetically, yeah, yeah. right? Like, But there is a good example of that because there's these promotional, you have these people that say they have promotional companies, right? Okay. And radio, and it's been going on forever. So you go to that company, you pay them money, and they say they're going to promote your record. But part of that promotion of the record is, you know, hollering at some DJs here, you know what I mean? Hollering well, what about at a PD here. And, stuff like and that. you know, promotion of marketing is huge. So she helps but be for vendors and shows and stuff. If your record don't blow, that ain't the person fault. The person did their job. Like and you, can't, you can't check the accounting because it's like, fam, the accounting's illegal. You're not allowed to pay people for shit. But the guy, but the guy probably. Only you can like check she is your spend. She probably right. feel like she didn't do enough. I didn't see it out there. There's nothing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If, if you don't blow, and listen, I don't know if that's the situation, but I've seen this a lot. I've seen, you know, people hire PR, people hire promotions, people, people hire record people. The record don't take off, or you don't get the PR you want. You just don't blow up. Yeah. And now you point fingers. You mm. know what I mean? Or, or, or it but that ain't their fault. Like, you just can't pay your way into Yeah, or it situations. might be easier to other people that she had. It might be easier to put them in rooms. It's faster to put them in rooms. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. And by the way, I don't know if, that, if that's the situation between Joyner and Karen. I'm just saying, I've seen that play out so many different times. I saw Cameron come at Karen uh, back in the day, and that was when it first came on my radar. He said some shit, and then that kind of got squashed. But, um... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. I, yeah, I don't. I mean, listen, Cam I don't, doesn't seem like the type of person to just complain publicly about someone. Like it, it, like he seems like the last person to do that. Hey, here's the thing, man. You know, Karen is my people. I, I, I fuck with Karen, and it's like, yo, I get it. If 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 every if people got stories, I'm, who am I to tell them that they lying? You know what I'm saying? But yeah. hey, if I know her personally, I don't know her business. Yeah, and you it, know what I mean. And the the nature of the business is is gross. Like, yes. like PR it's all is shady. A, son, can I tell you on something? Like, you know, you know, we did that uh, country song with the uh, the musician Jelly Roll, right? Mm -hmm. uh, who's got a new album out? Yo, check out Jelly's album. Man, I uh, fucked up. I told this white dude. Speaking of that shit, yeah. Remember, we was at the fucking garden. We was at the garden. I can't even remember homie name right now, but I think he's a comedian. I walked in, and Pete was telling Pete, and the guy was talking, and we were all talking, and Pete said something to the guy, and it was something about I think they got a song coming out or something, and I go. Yo, no disrespect. This whole time I thought you was Jelly Roll, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. You look like him, though. He did. About. I and about. I'm like, it was, it was click with me. I'm like, I think that's Jelly Roll. <laughs> and then when they started talking about they're doing a song together, I think for SNL or something, I go, maybe that is Jelly Roll. Right. I'm like, do I say? Yo, that song you and Shows have was fire. <laughs> Let me just sit back a little bit and make sure. Who's Andrew? <laughs> this is Jelly Roll. Who's Andrew Shows? I've been in them combos. Too. It wasn't You're Jelly Roll, though. He's trying to figure out who the fuck they I'm are. telling you. Yeah, yeah. I that think he's a comedian. He was messing around, though. Everybody was. Oh, I think he's a comedian. Man. He looked, yo, he you looked, looked like Jelly Roll, bro. Ah, I, don't. I, don't think, I don't think he was a comedian. Anyway, just to tell you about PR. So, Jelly Roll, after we put out that song, right? Jelly Roll's PR agency fires him. Why? Right? Why? Just to tell you something, because I guess it was like uh, not safe with the pandemic or these type of things, even though we're saying fucking make sure your grandma gets the vaccine. We're just saying it's time to go out. We want to fucking like go outside. Like every fucking like, media outlet exactly. <laughs> And now every media outlet is literally saying the exact same thing we said in the song. Anyway, so they drop him, right? That same PR agency had been protecting Kevin Spacey from all his accusations for like the last fucking decade. Wow. Th these people are scum. Like, wow. they get paid for a living to not only get you on the cover of a magazine, but if you do some fucked up shit, you got some DUIs, you know what I mean? You got a baby mama somewhere. They squash the story. They're literally paid so that people don't hear about the bad things that you do. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. do not take no fucking moral high ground yeah. and do not expect these people to be moral. It's the same shit with politicians. It's yeah. like the business is dirty. So if you involve with some dirty people, expect dirt to get on the fucking clothes. That's that's the thing, right? Because, uh, you know, a conversation sparked from the Jason Lee thing this week about accountability and, and what that looks like. Because I think when people hear me say, you know, you got to give people time to grow. You got to give people time to evolve. I also say, 
after they deal with the consequences of their actions, whatever those consequences may be. You know what I mean? But I yeah. always say, well, what are the consequences? Just because you're mad about something and outraged about something, that don't mean what they did was illegal. Mm. You know what I mean? That don't mean what they did was yeah. a crime. Right. So what are the consequences? Maybe the consequences are this. It's the backlash. Yeah. You know, somebody like Karen takes a hit to their reputation. You yeah. know, people might look and be like, oh, I don't know if I want to deal, yada, 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 this, this and game. that. That's yeah. it. But, you know, she, she got to do the work. To mm. just to rebuild. To either yeah. rebuild or just keep it moving. Like, we all, listen, there's nobody in this business that's not going to get their turn. Everybody going to get hit at some point. Also, there's nobody that's ever had a PR team that isn't unhappy with them. At some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, cause, absolutely. Like, the wrong you... headline go out, you mad at the PR team exactly. like they did that shit. Yes. That so ain't my like, job. My job is to clean it up, sir. Mm -hmm. Done. You know what I mean? So it's like, I you can find an infinite list of people that are upset at the amount of money that they've given a publicist. Right, because the idea is I get a publicist, and then all of a sudden I'm famous. That's what these people think happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then they get the publicist, and then you're not famous, and it's like, whoa, whoa, you you robbed me. Yeah. This by the way, money. I don't even think you can pay publicists to control narratives no more. Yeah. I think it's impossible in yeah. this social media era. No. Yeah. You, actually, you you should be paying publicists to, you know, get you in these magazines, get you on cover magazine, whatever, whatever. But hey, if you're if you're hot enough anyway and doing what you're going to do, they're going to be calling you regardless. Yeah, you now, you might hire them to organize some shit or sure. make a few extra calls, but you can't control narratives because guess what? If I get in my emotions and send out a wild tweet right now, yep. guess who's going to be calling me? <laughs> mm. The PR people. Yep. Well, guess what? I already sent that out. Yep. So you can't, I, you, once those now headlines you start it. going, everybody picks it up and it's yeah. on 20 different blogs. How can you get in front of that shit? You now, can't. now what Karen needs is all the clients that she's helped. Yep. To come out and be like, yo, I've had an amazing relationship yep, with her. Yeah, she yeah, does yeah, amazing yeah. work. She built me from this. The pile yeah. on culture is so easy. It's like it's so it it's, is, it, it is, it is. Everybody, it is. everybody in history has five people throughout their life that could come out and say, he was mean to me. I just do yeah. know is the pile on culture, it's so easy to make you look like a villain. Because oh, it's yeah. simple for me. It's like, yes, to your point, what you just said is so so accurate. It's like, I don't do business with Karen. Mm. So I, I've never had these experiences. The Karen I know has always Jeez. thrown assists. Yeah, like Karen has never asked me for nothing. Mm. Like literally, like you, and, and like other than like, hey, can can we book such and such? But does such and such be like Nipsey Hustle? Yeah, God I think we can make some room. YG, you yeah. know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Yeah. That's, like that's uh, what I was saying earlier. Is like the name that she has say. You be like, of course, of course. You I, might that's say what I'm saying. Else's name. They be like, nah, we busy. Yeah. And, and and Karen, Karen, Karen cleans. She'll clean shit up too. Like like. Like people will hit her because they know they know she know me and be like, Yo, why the fuck he said such and such about me or whatever, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she'll hit me and be like, Bro, can you take that down? Or can you know I me? Mean? Yeah. Whatever. Like whatever it is, you know. So yeah. it's like I've only had those type of experiences with her. I ain't mm. never had the business experience. I can't tell those people that they wrong though. No. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Only thing I would tell Karen or anybody else in that situation: Hold yourself accountable. Whatever you did wrong, mm. you know, if you did something wrong. Clean up the mistake. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just do better moving forward. Yeah. Bro, now that the internet exists and now you got social media, like that's your publicist, bro. Put out the work, make the work good, and people will share it. Shit. Curate that shit too. Do what the publicist would do. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's that's what's been getting motherfuckers in trouble for years. All this oversharing. Everything don't need to be on social media. We don't have to say every fucking thing. No, I'm saying like your content. Like put out a good that's piece it. of work. That's and right. And mm -hmm. the work will speak for That's right. Work for that's sure. right. Yeah. That's right. Especially, and by the way, if you're in this, like, I think last week, uh, for the God's Honest Truth, we were number two on social, right? For, I, I forgot what, the, what it was, but I, I knew we was number two behind Bill Maher, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, yo, every, when I'm looking at the analytics, I never looked at that type of shit before. It's all about the work. It's, yeah. this clip did this. Yeah. It was tweets about this. This clip did that. Like, mm -hmm. and it's like, that's what social media should be for. Yeah. I, I said that to Duval last week. I said, bro, I was high as hell last weekend, right? <laughs> and it was like midnight. And it just hit me. I said, yo, when did social media stop becoming the playground? It used to just be a fun playground. Oh, uh, no. Now motherfuckers treat this shit like a university of high and learning. <laughs> yo, 10 years ago, we was on social media just having fun, yeah. and everybody knew we were just having fun. Yeah. Nobody was taking anything literal. Yeah. They knew that we were all on our shock value shit. Got to say the wildest, most there. shocking shit yeah, to yeah. get noticed. Why 10 years from now, everybody's taking this shit so literal? That's and they, why I hate Clubhouse. It's so serious. I yeah. wouldn't, I, the reason I wouldn't go on Clubhouse, because every time, I, only time I ever hear about Clubhouse is when somebody getting jumped. 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, why would you? I, I'm sitting there like, Karen, why would you go in a room full of 8,000 people yeah. and the headline is Karen Civil sucks? Yeah. <laughs> why would you go vultures. in there? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Nah, you know what I mean? And by the way, if everybody's in there having their opinions on Karen Civil, cool. That's their prerogative. But Karen, why would you go in there? I like, kind of respect it. Me to head on. Not me. Every time I even like hear about it or see it, I like, like you said, somebody in there getting Somebody jumped. getting like, jumped. Who wants to get into it? Why you want to even see somebody get jumped? Kevin like, Hart got jumped. Want? Academics got jumped. What you want Aaron Zimmel got no, jumped. Clubhouse sucks. It is the worst. You gotta, and you got to put a suit on. <laughs> <laughs> I got to use, use the bathroom, yo. Can we for pay her. some bills or something? All right, let's pay some bills. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because it's been a great start to the NFL season and it's only getting better at DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the NFL. DraftKings is putting new customers in the center of the action with a free shot at millions. Did you hear what I just said? Free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes. Get in on the action now. It's simple. Just pick your lineup, stay under the salary cap, and see how your team stacks up against the competition. Feel the NFL action like never before with a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes. DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. And the best part is you can de deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. So download the DraftKings app now and use code IDIOTS. This week, new customers can get a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes. Enter the code IDIOTS to get a free shot at millions in total prizes with your first deposit. That's code IDIOTS only at DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the NFL. The minimum uh, $5 deposit is required. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for details. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I got to tell you about the best water in the motherfucking business is liquid death, okay? This is canned water. I'm not shitting you. They got the sparkling. They got the still. It is the best water I've ever had in my life. It is absolutely amazing. So fucking refreshing. There's something different about having something in a can. It feels colder, okay? Water in a plastic bottle. The ship warms up after two minutes outside the fridge. But the nice can, okay, frosty, you know, feels like you're drinking a beer. The shit looks like a beer. So if you had a party and one of these people that don't want to be drinking, but you don't want people looking at you weird, just crack open a liquid death, okay? Quality of water is absolutely amazing. I could go into the fact that, you know, it's from the fucking Alps in Austria. You know, I could go into these tap sources and how they're purified, 100% mineral profile, all this other stuff. Or I could tell you that this is death to plastic. We're not using these plastics that are fucked up, bad for the environment. We out here canning this shit. But I think the most important thing is you just trust it's the best water you'll ever have in your life. And what you can do right now is you can get two free koozies with your first order of any case of water at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. Just hit up their merch store, add the koozie two-pack you want, and you'll get it for free with your first case only at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. I'm telling you, best water you're ever going to try. Go there, get that shit. Satisfy your thirst. All right? Now let's get back to the show. All right, listen. Um, Before we do some asking idiots, can we talk about this tweet that Taylor just all the way misconstrued and had me having a whole other conversation. Yes. Okay. Uh, I she guess do. Meek Mill. First of all, Taylor said to me, this is what Taylor said. Well, Taylor, tell, you come tell him what you said, Taylor. You tell him what you said. Because watch her change it up. This is what she do. Watch her change it up. I'm sure. She done, she done, I'm, I'm she done, she thought, she about, she done thought about it. Now watch what she well, said. Hold on. I got to read the tweet again. No, don't read the tweet. Tell us what you said. You thought the tweet said. I said that I feel like, well, stop being around all the, or stop picking the women that are around like the same That's people. not what she said. Yes, it is. She, I said, she, stop she, picking up. She came to me and she said, Meek Mill's complaining about all these industry girls. And she said, That's all these guys around. fuck the same women yeah, in the okay, same yeah, circles. Same right? That's what she said. Yeah. So I go, this is not what Meek said. This is Meek's tweet. It's hard to find a woman that ain't clap your dog or no industry vibes is getting more scary. Now, I took that as him saying a girl with no industry vibes, meaning all these motherfuckers think they famous. All these motherfuckers is an influencer. Or they got a blog. They walk around with their camera. They record the everything. Be a wife? What a girl that wants you know to be, have kids. At Everybody want to be in that game now. Clap your dog means fuck your, fuck your, fuck dog. your boy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's a little wild. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't want to go. No, that's I mean, two totally different boy. things. But now you're, your boy in the industry is like somebody that we know. I don't know a lot of these guys out here, but if my girl fuck one of these guys that I know, I know them now because I see them on Here's TV the or whatever. Yeah, the uh, these motherfuckers don't want to do work to get pussy. So they just going through the DMs and who's DMing them. 
the people that girls is just DMing you are also DMing the next rapper. So of course your dog clapped the cheeks because you're not doing work to go out and get a girl. If you got your eyes set on a girl that you met, you see her somewhere and you ask for a number or something like that, the chances of your boy having fucked her already are slim. What I what I would say, I, I'm not, I don't disagree with that. What I would say is the reason you probably keep meeting women who, you know, have industry vibes is because you're in the industry. So everything you do has an industry vibe. Exactly. You know All what I mean? Everywhere you go. If you walk in at Chipotle, the lawyer that's probably in there getting lunch ain't going to be like, oh, that's Meek Mill. Yeah. But the woman who got a blog, I got, you know, a, mm-hmm. wants to be an IG model or, yeah. you know, has an Instagram page or just thinks they're a celebrity. Because every time they meet somebody, they want to take a picture with them. Mm-hmm. That's that's who going to roll up on me. Go to Olivia Rodrigo concert. That's it's probably a lot of industry vibes there. Go to yeah. church. Yeah. Go to church. It's probably mad industry vibes. They're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. praying for God to get, bless them to get their yeah. career. Though. This go shit right Chick-fil-A, here, make, bro. Just go somewhere else. Go outside of your comfort zone if you want to yeah. meet the girls that your boys haven't clapped. It's and, impossible and how are your though. Friends fucking this much. But it's impossible. <laughs> yeah. Or go 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 get an ugly ass girl. It's yeah. impossible though because it is. Mm. Especially when people get rewarded and think they're famous because the tweet went viral. Oh, yeah. oh, you know yeah. what I mean? They can send out a tweet, the shit go viral. It's on yeah. Shade Room. Now they think they lit. They think they popping. Oh, they won. You know what yeah. I mean? They you kill themselves. Oh now. my god! Yeah, that's die. my favorite thing when they comment on their own tweet. And they're like, well, why, <laughs> why are y'all here? <laughs> no. Why are y'all here? My birthday party is gonna be over at Benikins this weekend. People so who like their on own posts. Oh yeah, you a real yeah. sociopath. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, like yeah, your yeah. own posts. What kind of psycho are you? Yeah, just looking at that shit, man. I killed this. Why would you send that? Why would you send that? Yeah, but where are these girls at though? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. Why actually, do you care? Wanna... I'm just tough for these guys. You better cut it out, yo. I'm good. You better you cut it the fuck out, Carla. I'm on his ass, you Carla. Fire, he really bro. is, Carla. And it's only so fuck. I can't I don't say know shit. Where they at? Why you care? I don't care about where they at. You know what? Fuck it. Imagine. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah, Would you say where the hoes at? No. So don't ask where the good girls at either. That's don't worry about no other girl question, except for your fiance at the house. Right. That's a good ass question, bro. Shut the fuck up. You're right. That's better. When he right, he right. That shit exactly. is crazy. <laughs> right, you all, you acting like Taiwan. No, I'm not. Okay, yeah. You want to be your own independent country? Yeah. No, Carla says like, no. Nah, we all I'm Chinese. I'm, I'm Japan <laughs> over here. I don't even know what that means. Huh? They come together. Japan. I what? Don't even, I don't even, he don't even know what the what? fuck he said. What? He has no idea. What? He, 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 he has no idea. What? He has no, what? 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 He has no idea what he said. Wow. What? Japan. Japan. What does that mean? Taiwan. Taiwan. China. You syllables? <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all don't want to be single. China is just single. Hey, China. Hey, China. hey, hey, hey. Carla. They get, okay. That's, all you need to take. that's, that's it. it. Carla. That's all right. I said I want to yeah. be more like Japan. Carla. I don't want to be China by myself. I don't know what the fuck he's trying to say. China, but boy, China he, is two syllables, syllables, bro. He fell in a goddamn China. hole and he is trying to get out Ain't that no, motherfucker. Uh. <laughs> Keep digging your grave. <laughs> Keep digging your grave. I don't even know what you're trying to say right now. <laughs> okay. He's trying to bring it around the corner. Ain't no uh. Ain't no uh. <laughs> Ain't no uh in China. Hey, you know what? It's just China. 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 <laughs> Taylor, let's do some asking idiots. <laughs> I got two good ones by the same person. Okay. Um. So one, Curvin underscore wants to know if you discovered you were immortal, how would you change your life starting now? I discovered. Well, it depends I was on what your power is. No. What are you talking oh about? <laughs> well, that's your immortal. power. Your power is your immortal. He, he thought he was talking immortal. about a superhero group. You live forever. The Avengers, oh, the Eternals, oh, the I Immortals. Like you, get, you get something. Like, yeah. <laughs> like what? Your power is that you're immortal. Oh, you can just go forever. I don't oh. know if um. To be honest with you, I don't even know if that's the move. Because what if our whole purpose, you know, on this on on in this universe and throughout these different dimensions and existence is to go from dimension to dimension. Stages. Yeah. You know what I mean? What if I'm supposed to be here for? 90 to 100 years, and then it's on to the next thing. But what if, all right, so what if you were going to be here forever? Do you think that you would spend more time with your loved ones? Or like, like how would you change it up? You could, but that'd be kind of sad because they're not immortal. I know. So you try to soak it up as long as you got them. Mm. 
Actually. Yeah, that's true. Also, do you age? By the way, that's gonna be that's what I'm saying. Yeah. When you still immortal, and I guess you're still whatever Young. youthful, everybody else around you getting old. It's like yeah, so the rest of your life you gotta do it on yourself after you get a certain age. That's why Captain America was so honorable, bro. Why? Because even when Peggy Carter was old and he wasn't aging, he was still in love with her. But he went back. He no, no, back. no. There was a I forget the what movie it was, but there was a movie where he was sitting with the old Peggy. You know what I mean? At bedside and in love with her. Cap. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That's why they call him Cap. That's why they call him. He's always Captain. He's, cap. He's a Captain, bro. He's a motherfucking Captain, bro. I, I just try to go to space as much as possible. Because I really want to live out there. I, fuck mm. it. I already seen everything out what here. What if that's what, where you go, you though? But think about that. What if that's where you go? What if you, you die and then you're... Turn to alien. You're you're in space for a while, and then you go somewhere else. What if you end up on another planet in a whole other dimension? Like, you don't know. We don't know. Oh, it's Carlos true. We don't there. know. Like, we might be. Sti- <laughs> we, hey, we might. Oh, you said what? I, I hope Carlos there. That's oh, what God he said. damn. <laughs> we didn't even say that with no conviction. She don't I believe know. you. He said as a joke. You think this is a joke? <laughs> You think That's relationships are going to bring it to another, it's fucking it's not another country? Everybody take it. I'm taking my girl to another country. Yeah. She's trying to take it to another planet. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know so you can leave over there. So you can be single. <laughs> 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 By the way, she lived in the Bronx. She understands other planets, okay? Yeah, All right. I'm not taking it nowhere new. Okay. I'll give us another one, Taylor. Um, the same person wants to know, if you could cure a single disease, what would it be? COVID. No. Nah. No. Nah. <laughs> I don't know, man. By the way, stop awesome. fucking respiratory shaming people. Motherfuckers can't even have allergies no more we without people thinking you. it's COVID. Nah, 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 nah. Get your allergies yeah. in. You know what I'm saying? Stop control. doing that shit, Get man. Get that shit in check. All yeah. respiratory diseases matter, bro. Save a uh, illness. I mean, uh, yeah, probably Shrinkage. Alzheimer's. 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 Yeah, yeah, nah, for real. All Dementia, time. nah, for real, for real. What do you say? Shrinkage. He bugging. You know how I many guys would have That's Alzheimer's. not a disease. It's not, Shrink is not a disease. That doesn't mean it's too cold. <laughs> what happened? Who said what? You said what is what is the disease? <laughs> all timers. All timers. He used that? to call like all time what? He used to call it old timers. <laughs> like, like all time what? Greatest ba- basketball player. <laughs> all time greatest rapper. All time greatest president. What you mean all time? Can we, <laughs> can we get rid of all timers? You mean like list? No all time list. That's no more list. <laughs> no more greatness, bro. No more greatness. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Um, I forgot what the fucking question was. Me too. What disease? Oh, disease. I mean, there's so uh, many. I don't know. Like, well, that's a, probably cancer. Probably, cancer, probably. Yeah, yeah, cancer. Want probably want cancer. Too, probably cancer. cancer. Because everything else you can kind of like, I don't want to say prevent, right? But not all timers. Not all timers. Not dementia. Hey, yeah, thing, probably cancer. It'd be that cancer. You can't get hard no more. I said shrinkage, but I don't think it's shrinkage. Erectile dysfunction. That right there. Nah, yeah. cancer. Cancer. HIV AIDS. You can wear a condom. You know what I mean? And they got the yeah. prep. Prep stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, like it's, we, we only here to get hard. I'm saying to have sex, to reproduce. I'm, come on, for real, stop. That's not. If true. If something happens to you, meet. You don't care about life no more. That's not true. You say that till you lose your dick. Because <laughs> you, you got to be. But kidding. they already fixed that. They already solved that. Yeah. That erectile thing. Yeah, blue chew, baby. Okay. So if you lost your dick, you wouldn't want to live no more. No. Boy, you better stop saying stuff like you that for God. Try you. I, I'm just saying. You want to take your, take my meat off? Why am I living? I for can't your do son, that. My... Maybe Psalm. Maybe King. What are you talking about? They Crazy? don't like me. They Maybe call like them. Me. They don't like they don't you. Know, you're they're not gonna be with me no more. If Whoa. I don't meet. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Like, Whoa. That's wild. What you just said, bro. Y'all girls gonna say what y'all? Y'all got no. Meat. I said your children, your sons. I ain't say shit about. Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying with my sons, but they're not gonna like my attitude. I think Psalm. No, no. I think Psalm and King can live with a dickless daddy. Yeah, they're not gonna Whoa. like me. Like how? How would they like I'm you? Always be sad. They don't even know. They'd love you more. You're not. Don't even tell me you don't got a dick. How would they know you don't got a dick? Something you, you gonna see it on your face. Certain things you see on your face. Wait, what? So you've had dick on your face? <laughs> How big is your dick? <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying you see it all over your face. You know when you're going through something. If I yeah. don't have no meat right now, it is no confidence. That's where you get your pride from. There's yeah. so many things that make you a man, and it, it comes from Wax, your meat. Tell us what dick on your face looks like. Yeah. Bye. What? Bye. 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 No. I'm just saying, when you know your shit fucked up, like so much things come to make you a man from your fucking meat. You know I'm saying from your pride and everything like that, your manhood and all that shit. But like, here's the thing, Wack. This what coffee. This what your if confidence they, come from. If they cut your dick off, you can put it on your face. Pour it up. You can do. You Word can up. put it wherever you want. Up. That's, that'd be a dope place but to put you it. You need to put it in the right place <laughs> under your chin. Yeah. 
Just like this, walk around like this all day. It's it. It's it. It's it. It's it. It's it. It's it. Now that would really confuse your kids. No. Now, as your sons get older, who wants to walk around with a daddy who got a dick on his dick face daddy? Dick face daddy, bro. Yo, elementary school, middle school, high school. Yeah. Yo, that's the kid who daddy got a dick yes. on his face. Dick face daddy. Yeah. <laughs> don't think, forget bunky. It's bro. already bad enough they got to be shit man. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, listen. At the end of the day, if something really happened to your meat, like, well, how would you feel? I would live. I would live my life. That's nah, not gonna end my be life. Crazy, bro. Yeah, it would be man, fucked up. I don't want to die though. But you'll be fucked up. You yeah, like why am I living? I can't. Up. Yo, we only live to have get pussy. I get to keep That's my balls true. though. Huh? So I get to keep my balls? I don't know. They asked the question. <laughs> <laughs> Watch. What if, it's, what if she's handicapped or he's handicapped? They don't. Could you live with no balls but a dick? That means just not have babies and I can still get hard. You Hell can still yeah. get hard, but just no balls. You don't fuck about balls. I'm just look stupid. I don't really look at my balls. And you think I really looked at, at this shit? How many times you actually seen your balls? Why you don't like your dick, bro? <laughs> I'm cool with my dick. It's just my balls. I never saw them before. I, I saw them, but probably like five, six times in my life. What if Carla says that's the best part of you? What if Carla says that's, that's the reason her. she loves you so much? And praise the Lord. That's why they're there. You know what I'm saying? But they, <laughs> if my balls got to come off, this is sad, bro. And the only thing I can't do is I'm, just have kids. I'll be okay. You know I'm, I'm sad saying? that you would give up boys. your kids just because you ain't got no dick, bro. They not gonna like me. They're not gonna know. <laughs> Why would they know? If you was having this conversation about Carla, yeah. that makes perfect sense. This has Dad, no. He's this makes like he doesn't have, have a dick. dick. <laughs> Listen, what about when they get older? They can't even say that. Daddy's acting like a dick. Yeah. No, he's acting like he doesn't have one. No, yeah, young king. But you know, right. a lot of guys be like, damn, he ain't got no balls. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's yeah. not cool. Like, a lot of shit come from your manhood that make you stronger and make you confident. Yeah, right, but we say that about come women, and dick. we know women don't have balls. We like, she ain't yeah. get no dick. No, we be like, yo, that yo, she got balls. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. we know she don't. So yeah. it don't like no. It's just a figure of speech. But at the same time, not having a dick would be brutal, bro. Yes, but I still want to be alive. You know what I mean? You gotta pee hella close to the urinal. You gotta just you gotta sit down. Yeah. You yeah, figure yeah, new yeah. things oh, out. Yeah, you can just sit down. You might, you might learn new things about yourself. Like? You might like getting ate out. <laughs> <laughs> Look the moon. Look the moon. <laughs> That's no, all it's gonna be. No. Instead of saying get out, it'd be like, yo, you feel like look at my wound. Look at my wound. <laughs> so listen, what if you fall in love again and you have to really have that conversation with her and tell her, like, I ain't got no meat. Yo. I ain't got no dick. But you guys could do what lesbians do. You could scissor. That's what I'm saying. Just go clit on clit. That shit. These girls <laughs> come to you because they want penis. Say what? If a girl ever I'm trying to go. I just want you to know, Wax. Wax, you're more oh, than a baby. dick, bro. Yeah, okay, dude. please don't. I, that, no, you're more than a dick. I, I bet you, if I didn't have a dick, Carla wouldn't be with me. But we'd still be with you. Word is born. I'm not your friend because of I, your cock. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I never even think about your cock, dude. Never once have I thought about it until now. And I feel like, frankly, I'm missing out. I've been missing out this whole time. Like, if the cock is so dominant, I, I you think it, that's what people man. like about you? A lot of things come, man, from that. Like, right now, my arms start hurting. I'd be like, I got to figure it out. But my meat start hurting is like, I yeah. gotta figure it out. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, not you the would do the way. same exact thing. No way. If my arms are hurting, I'd be like, ah, you know, I might do too many push ups or I might pull it from the curl or something. If my meat start hurting, it's like, you got yeah. gonorrhea, I got hernia, I got syphilis, it's something. Yeah. Like you're, you're overthinking this, bro. That's crazy. You'll be fine, okay? Yeah, dude. And I hope question. that, I hope. You could also cut off one of your fingers and build a dick out of that and then put it back okay, on. I guess finger do, dick. Do finger penis. Like that. You can have finger you penis, dude. Now you, there you go. I always keep the lights off and have like put the dildo thing on there like that. Build some pride. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, if you just want to be a lesbian, say that. Yes. I, like, I, what are you lesbian. talking about? I've you kind of dress like a lesbian. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> a lesbian Me from Harlem. He do dress like a lesbian from Harlem. He really he do, do, right? <laughs> Yo, I never knew it because he's so like big and the, shit. The like, cargo pants, the yeah. Tim's, the hat on backwards. Bro, he dressed like a fucking lesbian hanging outside of McDonald's on West Fork. From Harlem. That's Yo, this is crazy. Smoking oh. a champ in a black and mild. Yeah. Oh, man. Listen, as always, if you listen to this podcast, <laughs> you think... <laughs> As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. 